Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophin at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. As promised last time, we uh, well we got the ability to dive and to breathe underwater, but uh, as promised last time, we're gonna continue on the what seems to be the main path. Uh, we fought a headless last episode within that moat over there. So we're actually pretty close to... Yeah, so that's the spear, guys. So the path forward is actually starting from that older... Um, that older... Uh, Sculptor's Idol down there. But now... Hmm, we need to follow those incense burners. So those seem to be going to the other side. And... By the way... Doesn't it seem a bit strange that now all of a sudden there's snow everywhere? I just only noticed that. That's probably because of the Genich Genichiro boss battle, but... The rest of Ashina Castle wasn't snow-covered last time we went here. Okay, let's see. So... We came from that direction. So that way is where we came from. But there are still definitely night jars all over the place. I just want to try and see where we've been and where we haven't been. It's really hard to keep an eye out for everything here. Because even that seems familiar, vaguely familiar, like it's the Ashina Reservoir, maybe. But because we're so far away, we're kind of missing some details. But let's head down. Uh, although... Wait, those are the stairs. Those are the stairs, so where do we need to go? This entire area has been transformed and I'm a bit confused now. Because, yeah, indeed, I didn't... I don't know why I didn't notice it, but... The weather changed drastically. Um, so we've been here, but not on top. So let's discover... Well, walk around here first. There's... Ooh. Okay. Is this... Wait. Hello, sir? About the Divine Heir's life. Yes? There is something I wish to ask. Uh, before that, Sake. What? You earned it. Take it. Okay, more unrefined sake. Hmm. My grandson, Genichiro, was bewitched by the rejuvenating waters. Oh god, you this is well issue. You to put a stop to that for me. You have my thanks. I merely followed the code my father taught me. Ah, the Iron Code of the Shinobi. I see. So you're the son of Owl. That boy he found during the rebellion. Yes. And your travels brought you here. The bonds that tie us are so deeply amusing. Don't you think, Sekiro? You're... So what do you wish to know? So this is Ishin Ashina himself. So the guy from the beginning cinematic that is now, of course, a lot older. Um, I can actually give him a drink. Let's do that first. Uh, Ashina Sake? I brought Sake. Smart thinking, my boy. Let me see. Mm. 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 <sighs> That's some good sake. This is how we drank when we won our battles. The people of Ashida. Together as one. Could you... tell me about the rebellion? <laughs> oh, the rebellion? We just took back what was stolen from us. That's... Before this land was... It's a place where we... The Ashina people lived, where the waters flowed straight from the source. We were a people who loved our country dearly. And they actually made good sake, yeah. And we made good sake to boot. But we were heretics. And we were weak. Naturally, we were overrun. Trampled into submission for many long, excruciating years. We couldn't even pray at the water from the springs. The way we were then. Even good sake couldn't get us truly drunk. But then, the world fell into chaos. Yes. Amidst the chaos that was Japan. The endless casualties. The flames of war. We found the perfect opportunity to take back our land. But now, it's a place of death. <laughs> It's a bitter thing indeed. Okay. 
So he started the rebellion. And I mean, his choice of words is interesting. He called himself and his brothers heretics, not rebels. So that means that they were non-believers of some sort. They believed something different than the majority of the people. And I'm starting to feel like the Fountainhead Waters are basically the uh, the main religion here. So those uh, waters that we saw in the Mibu village as well, being poisoned and addling the minds of the people there. But can we actually give him the unrefined sake as well? Here. Are you offering me the sake I gave you? Probably not. <laughs> Delightful. I'll take it. Ah, great. Mm. Mm. More stories, then. Always <sighs> ready for more stuff. stories. By the way, how was Genichiro? What do you mean? You two crossed blades, did you not? Uh-huh. To put it simply, he was strong, and he had... unusual techniques. I see. What exactly is the Lightning of Tomoe? <laughs> that is a technique belonging to Genichiro's mentor. I'll wager it was quite the sight. His mentor? Tomoe. There aren't many masters of the sword like her. To see her fight, it's like she's dancing. When you look into her eyes, you feel as if you're being drawn into the depths of the ocean. <laughs> I was completely taken by her, and it almost killed me. I've lived a long life, but that was the closest I've come to death. Tomoe. Okay, so the lightning is a technique that Genichiro got from his mentor and she is apparently a very skilled fighter as well. Interesting. And he kind of is really glossing over the fact that I'm almost killed his uh, grandson. It's also very interesting to see a main character in a Dark Souls game, in a, in a From Software game, I mean, be so eloquent. Not, not really eloquent, but just speaking his mind. He has opinions on everything that's happening, which is very cool to see in a From Software game, since usually you have a custom character and you can't really do interactions like these. So I really like what they're trying to do with Sekiro over here. The Divine Heir's desire is to sever the ties of immortality. I want to know how it can be done. The Mortal Blade. If you had such a weapon, it may be the key to what you are after. The Mortal Blade? With it. You could kill one who cannot die through normal means. One who cannot die? The infested, I believe they are called. I have not seen one before, but it's said you could stab them through the heart, or remove their head, and they wouldn't die. <laughs> if the stories are true, they'd surely be quite fearsome. Hmm. To kill a monster such as that, you need the mortal blade. Okay, so where can that be found? Where is this mortal blade? I've heard it's held in Senpo Temple. However, they say the mortal blade cannot be drawn. What do you mean? I am not certain of the meaning. It's just hearsay. Hmm. The gates to that temple are closed now, though. Who knows what those degenerates are doing shut away up there in the mountains. There aren't any decent roads leading there. Well, they're kind of kidnapping people with sugar and just tossing them off the mountain again to discover the secret of undeath. But I haven't found a mortal blade there, which is weird, because I've been there already. Um, and that's basically it, apparently. You're leaving, Sekiro. Severing immortality. That will be quite the battle. And in battle... The plans and desires of those involved churn endlessly. If you hesitate, you'll be swept away. And lose the battle. <laughs> That's right. Best you keep it in mind. Sekiro, hesitate, and you lose. That's basically the point of this game. Hesitate, and you lose. Um, so that was Ishin. He was right here all along. <laughs> I kind of never, never uh, looked at him before. More pallets. Ooh, gold. Do I need to kill these guys? I probably should, right? Because um, there's multiple of these. Heal lever. Oh god, yeah.
There we go. There we go. And then the other one. There we go. Okay, so these guys were hostile for some reason, which is weird because we're here to kind of protect the same man. We shouldn't be hurting each other. Just racking the place a bit because I want to see if there's any items here. But this is a weird way of going around, right? So I feel like... Can you enter this area in another way? So there's another staircase over here. I'm gonna have to be stealthy about this. Oh, that was definitely not stealthy. There we go. I can do this. Okay, I don't know why this guy is... And there we go. And that's not playing like an asshole. There we go. Okay. So two Ashina swordsmen hiding behind this panel for some reason. Where the hell are we? Or... Oh. Oh, we're here. Okay, I know where we are. That is weird. Could, have, could we have done that the entire time? Oh yes, I remember this hallway. Oh, I could have talked to Ishin all along. That is actually really cool. You could access his chambers from that way all along and then just hightail it to the boss fights. Interesting. Just gonna quickly rest at the sculptor's idol and continue on our way. Oh? Oh? I'm heading back into the building and I hear sneezing. And I apparently never picked this up. The Gunford Shrine Key. The key to a shrine deep within the Gunford. The gate behind the shrine's idol is made to be opened. The Sunken Valley clan will shoot any stranger who approaches and the Snake Eyes guns are particularly feared. This elite group of women are descendants of the ancient Okami clan. Their especially sharp eyes allow them to snipe victims at great range. Okay. There were a few closed off doors there. Let's talk to Kuro. <clears throat> this dust is awful. I have returned. Oh, Wolf, you're back. Did you meet with Lord Ishin? I did. He said the mortal blade, it could be the key to severing immortality. The mortal blade? It's a sword that has the power to kill the undying. It can be found at Senpo Temple. I see. Yes. That seems promising. As you say. For my part, I hunted for any books that may contain clues about the aroma of the Fountainhead. It seems Lord Takeru indeed sought a way to reach the Divine Realm. So far, I found one piece of relevant information. What is it? A flower. A flower? So, show the Sakura droplet, the flower, and the stone. The stone we have already. Um... But let's ask about it first. My lord, this is for you. This is a document written by one who sought the fountainhead aroma. I see. It says there's a fragrant stone in some sacred village, but I've never heard of such a village. Mm. Hmm. What is it, Wolf? Huh. What is that strangely shaped rock you hold? Is that the fragrant stone of the fountainhead? My lord. This stone appeared to have been enshrined. Yes. It is just as the book described. Yes. There was also an inscription. A sweetly scented bridal offering. Written on the altar. Bridal? Hmm. What sort of place was this? It was in a cave. Beyond a door made of solid rock. Hmm. In that case, where was the wedding procession headed? No way to know. I guess. Sweetly scented. Hmm? Lord Kuro, that place might be the gateway to the Divine Realm. Hmm, I see. Sweetly scented. Meaning, wrapped in the fountainhead incense. That is what it might be referring to. Hmm, so did we accidentally stumble upon the gates to heaven? That is interesting to think about. Uh, but we kind of skipped through a few story beats here by going to Mibu Village a bit sooner than expected, apparently. Uh, let's show the Sakura droplet. My lord, this is for you. 
could this be? It's a Sakura droplet. That's... When the undying pledge of the dragon's heritage is broken, it's said that this remains in place of the oath. Do you think this one was left behind by Lord Takeru? That seems likely, Wolf. If you so desire, I can use this Sakura droplet to assist you. Oh, sure. If you should be so kind. Of course. Close your eyes. My lord. Okay. Lord Takeru's dragon blood lives on with you. Ooh. Lord Takeru's I dragon blood. Accept. So does that mean I yes. can now resurrect up to three times? Yes, he says. He's as eloquent as I am. You may open your eyes now. My lord. Additional resurrective power granted. There we go. That was a boon granted by Lord Takeru. Use it well. Yes. Because I know I've used the word eloquence to describe Sekiro as well, and maybe that's not really correct since he often in conversations just repeats the last words that his uh, conversation partner actually uses. Um, but yeah, the final thing, the flower. A flower. First, read this. Fragrant flower note. A note from Kyoro written by Takeru, former heir of the dragon's heritage. It is said that relatives of Tomoe once gathered the fountainhead fragrance and arrived at the palace. You may find a key where the waters of rejuvenation converge in a deep pool. A white and deeply fragrant flower. Okay. Where the waters of rejuvenation converge in a deep pool. What is... Lord Takeru left it behind. I was looking for information on the fountainhead aroma and how it relates to the divine realm. There is water that flows from the fountainhead through Ashina, and the book speaks of a white lotus flower that grows where the water pools deeply. It appears to be one component of the fountainhead aroma. A place where the fountainhead waters pool deeply, perhaps in a deep valley? Yes, indeed. The sunken valley may be the place the fountainhead waters should flow into there. Where is this sunken valley? It's beyond the woods to the rear of the castle. There's a shrine dedicated to the white serpent deep in the woods. As the name implies, the sunken valley is just below that place. There's no proper path down there, but a man of your talent could navigate it. So we've been there already. You're leaving, Wolf. I'm counting on you. My lord. And I'm guessing that key allows us to actually go further into the gun fort because we kind of hit a dead end there. There's a lot of noise because of the sculptor's idol above us, but Emma also moved position. So now she's here. We still have two gourd, gourd seeds that we may be able to use now. So you've met with Lord Ishin? Yes. He thanked me for defeating Kenichiro. I see. To think that Lord Genichiro would go as far as to drink the rejuvenating sediment. Rejuvenating sediment? That's what we call a particularly concentrated part of the rejuvenating waters. I'm sure you saw it for yourself. The rejuvenating sediment grants great resilience in one's flesh. One becomes able to withstand blows that would be fatal to anyone else. My mentor Dogen devoted much research to its uses, but all of his works, documents, medicines, everything, were burned and destroyed. I'm not sure who, but I heard one of the senior apprentices was able to salvage some of it, probably Dojun. Did you ask Lord Kuro's thoughts on the matter? I did. And? We've decided to sever the ties of immortality. I see. I thank you for all of the help you've given me. <laughs> Almost sounds like you're bidding me farewell for good. I've carried out my lord's orders, so I will stay here in the castle. Come and speak to me whenever you please. I will provide my assistance to you as a doctor. Something feels icky about Emma. I feel like she's a lot older than she looks. It's something about her voice and the way she talks that gives me the impression that she has more, also more knowledge than she lets on. But let's give her 
a gourd seed, and let's give it another one. I don't think I have three. Yeah, okay. Then I don't know if I have. Oh, we still have unrefined sake to give to Emma. Here, for you. Oh my. If this isn't Lord Ishin's favorite sake, I'll have some. <sighs> Delicious. So I know this is an exposition heavy episode, but uh, I'm really enjoying Say it. Something. There is something I'd like to ask you. Of course. Who trained you to fight with a blade? A blade? I am a doctor. Yes, but who? Uh, Lord Ishii. <sighs> but I only have a passing interest. I do not believe your skill counts as a mere passing interest. Why did you learn? Well, not to kill people. What do you mean? No, I don't have the slightest desire to kill anyone. It's just... I would want to kill a demon if one were to appear. A demon? <laughs> Don't take me seriously. It was only a joke. It didn't sound like a joke. So again, there we have our first surprise. Emma knows how to wield a blade. I don't know how Sekiro knows this, but... Goodbye. He was curious about it, at least. Um, so there's a few ways we can go now again, which is great. I like a bit of choice. I'm just going to rest here first. So now we have eight gourds. Look at that. That looks amazing. And we have three resurrection nodes. Three possible resurrection nodes. Now, I want to check over here first. I promised we were going to go further over here. And I haven't really done that just yet. So, moving further over here. And back up this building. I wanted to check out if this is actually another new area or if it's something that we already know about. That looks weird, but that's of course... Oh! Oh! That was a mistake. Although, you know what, need to, we need to go down anyway. That's Ishin's building over there on the right. So, right over here. Okay. I'm just gonna sit down at it quickly so I respawn over here when we die. But now... This area, is this something we know? Because it kind of looks familiar, although everything looks familiar in this place. Hey, you didn't see a little scoundrel come running through here, did you? We're after one, and I'm fairly sure he came this way. Hmm. What was he wearing? He had a black hat on, short little guy. Hmm. Thing is, nobody's passed this way at all. The only thing that did look like some kind of animal. A raccoon? Maybe a badger? Couldn't say for sure. You sure you didn't mistake that animal for your criminal? Oh, come on! Ah, forget it. Okay. I'm just gonna kill these guys anyway. There we go. So two gunners shouldn't be too hard. There we go. And then this guy... Oh! There are actually... I never thought about that, but of course these gunners are from the Sunken Valley, from the gun fort. Which is interesting. And they also have a lot higher reception than the other guys. Because the other guy in the, in the tower on the left there almost saw me. I'm gonna get bombarded. There we go. I think I just I got in a in a death blow animation just a time out. I don't know where he is. I saw him a minute ago. Oh, there it is. I think he's blowing up his own roof. Fine by me. Okay. So there's multiple guys that know where I am, but if I just go like this. I love how I can just parry a cannon. Just the notion of parrying a cannon. Yeah, I think stealth has gone uh, its proper path. Because, you know, we're powerful enough to just take all these guys out. And I feel like this is a, an area we could have gone to sooner as well. Oh, it does look familiar. 
this is that bridge at the very beginning. So that path over there on the left leads to that uh, first headless we saw. And then that path down there leads towards where we first saw the white serpent, which is interesting. So it all loops together rather nicely. That is great. So if we go down here, we get more items. Black gunpowder. But I need scrap iron. Not black gunpowder. I don't know if there's anything down here. If people are hiding ledges from me that we could go further onto. Doesn't seem like it. Okay. Is this just that then? Because I feel like there's nothing else here if that's the end of the area. There's a few more items strewn about and aha, there's a hole in the roof there as well. Oh, and there's more. How the hell did I miss all these items? There's a buttload of items here and I totally missed them. Mostly just uh, coin purses, but uh, never mind. There is this build. Oh, there we go. This building over here that I can just jump onto. There seems to be somebody we can talk to here as well, but first things first. Another item. No, no. Let's hang and then drop down. Thank you. More sugar, but, oh, that's the guy in the black hat. And he, did he hurt himself or what, where's the blood coming from? <sighs> Told those morons to give it a rest, but they don't. They just keep sending more. Such a pain in my head. Huh. You one of them Nightjar cronies? No. Ah, of course not. There's something different about you. Right back at I'd you. I'd say you're in the same line of work. The name's Black Hat Badger. What's yours? He's actually called Badger. <laughs> Real sociable one, aren't we? First this stubborn lot, now a down in the dumb shinobi, and then those Ashino boys raising hell outside. <sighs> Could this day get any better? You're a fugitive. Something like that, sure. By the by, I'm a little out of pocket these days. Got the goods, but no one to sell them to. Been waiting for someone like you to show up. Aha! Uh, -huh. uh, but before we do business, let's talk a bit further. Now, if you ask me, this iron ribbed fan has your name written all over it. With this, you won't pay arrows or bullets no heed. You never know. It might even hold against cannon fire. That sounds good. That sounds good. Iron Fortress. An iron fan made in the far west can be fitted into the shinobi prosthetic to become a working prosthetic tool. Experienced iron ribbed fan users can deflect arrows and even bullets using these to this tool. Passed down through generations of assassins serving Senpao Temple, it wouldn't be surprising if the next owner decided its weight was impractical. Okay. And then the anti-air death blow text. Compendium on the Shinobi martial art, anti-air death blow. Skill unlocked upon acquiring this item, a technique which serves the Shinobi who is not bound by the earth in battle. Leap towards an opponent who has exposed himself in midair and strike, killing him before he hits the ground. That sounds awesome as well. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, buy both of those. He doesn't seem to be selling any purses, which is fine. <laughs> you hear about this one? Rats have been swarming into Ashina Castle these days. You know the ones I mean. But there's this hell-bent old-timer cutting them up like it was nothing. Um, I know. Was he wearing a Tengu mask? Oh, so you did see him. Yes. We spoke. <laughs> well, ain't you just full of surprises. I'm impressed he let you keep your head. Indeed, we are too. <laughs> Rats have been swarming you, but they... Okay, so he is repeating his dialogue, <laughs> I'm in um, which is fine. So we got well, what we wanted from that. him. Thanks to your patronage, I'm a wealthy man. Enough to make arrangements, at least. Thinking I may be leaving soon. Where to? Senpo Temple up on Mount Kongo. There's all sorts of rats around here these days. Got a feeling things are gonna get real ugly real soon. So it's about time I tied up some loose ends. Oh, well, that makes it, well, gives gives me the, the prime reason to go back to Senpai Temple. Oh, my God. Yeah, he killed him. 
He definitely kills those assassins from Sampo Temple. Because that's a nice detail. There's like two just right here. So that's where the blood came from. Was wondering where that came from. So they just sent assassins after him. Is there something else around here? No. So the black hat badger. So he looks like one of those assassins. But seems like they're after him instead of... Well, he being a part of them. Um, we can get on top of this building as well, apparently. Not that I'm... Oh, oh, I love how everything just runs together like that. So that's where we fought uh, Kyobu down there on his horse. That is so nice that everything just loops back on top of each other. Uh, I'm going to head back and we'll see if we can find the Black Hat Badger back at Senpo Temple. But let's do a quick stop in the dilapidated temple. You need some and present him with a new, uh, the sculptor with a new prosthetic tool, the Loaded Umbrella. The prosthetic tool created by fitting in an indestructible iron-ribbed umbrella to the arm. When spread open, it will protect against attacks from all directions. Hold it out while moving to protect from light attacks. But this is an umbrella after all, it won't protect you from low attacks such as sweep attacks. So hold R2, shelter spread the loaded umbrella to guard from attacks in all directions. You can also move with the fan deployed and it will continue to block lighter attacks as you move. R2, the moment an enemy attack lands, umbrella deflect. Spread the umbrella to deflect enemy attacks and umbrella deflects are easier to time than sword deflects. Okay, that sounds amazing. So with that done, what can we actually... Yeah, there are upgrades for the umbrella as well. There seems to be one more prosthetic that I'm missing. The one over here. And we still need a lot of scrap iron to move. No, I actually need just money. Yeah, just uh, opened up some more purses. And I can actually buy the Phantom Kunai upgrade to... Ooh, the final tier information is now unlocked. Lazulite Shuriken, Lazulite Sabimaru and Lazulite Axe. And the Sacred Flame as well. So blue colored upgrades to everything there. Um, cleanse the deep-seated hatred with flame. Ooh, damages even apparitions with its blazing purple flame. Ooh, we can dispel illusions and stuff like that with those upgrades. That is cool. And they are getting pricier by the minute as well. Um, and we lack the iron now to upgrade anything else. Although we can go for the divine... Abduction upgrade or the spring load vent upgrade if we just spend a bit more money. What does the loaded umbrella do? Magnet. When spread open it will protect against attacks from all directions. Has a tempered magnetic shaft that makes it nearly unbreakable. Enemy attacks can be deflected by spinning the open umbrella. So I'm gonna buy the spring loaded uh, flame vent. Not that I'm gonna use it immediately. But uh, it's a way forward into the loaded umbrella upgrades. So that seems cool. So with that done, I'm actually going to swap out my prosthetics a bit because I still like the gouging top, but I want to try the Phantom Kunai out. So it increases the Spirit Emblem cost to 2. Phantom Butterflies chase after enemies and inflict damage even when guarded. So that sounds cool to even try just. And the Loaded Umbrella and the Sabimaru. There we go. I want to see what all of that does. There we go. Let's head back to Senpai Temple. So back at the main hall of Sampo Temple, we have a problem. Seems like the High Priest is gone. Which is definitely a problem. Where did he go? So we talked to him before. But apparently... And I feel like there's more where these guys came from now. We know these guys probably spawned centipedes. I want to just try a few things out. Okay. Ow. Should, should probably get up. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm getting eaten again. What, what, what did the Phantom Kuna do? Oh, that's actually quite a bit of damage. Okay. Wow, these guys are hard. And there we go. 
But of course, these guys resurrect. So these guys probably at least resurrect once. One, two, three. Wakey, wakey. Oh no, I need to jump. <laughs> Let's just heal up. And there we go. But a second time doesn't seem to help either. So these guys can't be killed. Okay. Just wanted to check that out. But where's the high priest? Does not open from the side. Fair enough. Oh god. Okay. Um, I'm just going to try and see if I can't find that high priest. There's a an, an indicator over there. <laughs> Seem to be stuck right now. What's this? Uh oh. I triggered. Ooh. I'm gonna ring the bell. What what does this mean? Ding dong. Ramalama ding dong. This looks pretty, by the way. Oh, uh, why do we get a fate of black? This seems familiar, does it not? Are we going to another memory? Yeah, we, we are. Yeah, we are. And that's a lot of monkeys. A lot of monkeys. Where the hell are we now? Three monkeys. The seeing, the hearing. Oh, the panels is empty. Hello. That's a monkey with glasses. Hi. Hi. He's farting purple. The elusive hall bell, a five-pronged bell made of aged bronze, can be used repeatedly. When rung, monkeys and wolves alike are returned to their initial states. However, a monkey caught in the folding screen will not escape, whether the bell is rung or not. What? What? Folding screen monkeys. Um, do I need to equip that bell then? Um, so when rung, monkeys and wolves alike are returned to their initial state. However, a monkey caught in the folding screen will not escape, whether the bell is rung or not. So, that's the red one, right? What is this? Um, I'm leaving. Am I leaving that? What's this? What's this? It's like yellow markers. What the hell is going on? So there's a green one, a blue one. A blue one, a green one, an orange one, and a purple one. So the purple one's over there. But he said one of the screens is empty. So what does that mean? And I'm dead. <laughs> Thought I was going to be able to jump down there, but apparently not. Um, there is... Wait, who is this? Let's talk to this guy. What is that noise? I don't think it's the monkeys. Yet another was lost in the halls of illusion. I believe you are on a mission and wish to leave this place. Yes. Then you must defeat the monkeys depicted on the panels at the hall entrance. Once you have done so, the divine child's voice will reach you. Okay, so the purple monkey? The monkey in the purple kimono. Is the seeing monkey. He has excellent eyesight, can see great distances, and is very attentive. If he spots you, he will run immediately. He is exceedingly timid. The monkey in the orange kimono is the speaking monkey. While he does not have particularly good eyesight or hearing, he makes a big fuss when he sees a threat. 
forcing all the other monkeys to run. Oh, perhaps he merely enjoys toying with humans. The monkey in the green kimono is the hearing monkey. He has excellent hearing, can hear across great distances, and is very attentive. He will generally run away the moment he hears you coming, making it hard to approach. He is exceedingly timid. Okay. I do not wish to leave the halls of illusion. It is usually quiet here, which means it is near to Nirvana in its own way. At least, that is how it feels to me. Oh yes. By the way, there was once someone who, like you, was on a mission. I believe he chased the monkeys for a while, but everything here eventually went silent. I pray that you succeed. Are you saying there might be somebody else here? So the orange monkey is now over there. It's he said that the orange monkey can't hear or see me properly. So if I can get to the orange monkey first and kill him, that will be probably the best option. So I'm right behind the orange monkey now. There we go. So I think I got the orange one now. I don't know what that was all about, but suddenly I was attacked by a spirit of a monkey. So the purple one is now over there. So if I go to this building and go all the way around, I am definitely being chased by something that leaves yellow paw prints. I don't know what it is exactly, but it's, it's definitely following me. I can hear it stamping around there. Oh no, he saw me. Okay. There we go. There was one for some reason chasing me. So that's the one that was missing probably. The invisible... Ah, okay. It's an invisible monkey. Um, okay, if I go... I need to break line of sight probably. So I think I'm starting to understand. So the green monkey is the one that hears exceptionally well. But there are multiple ways to making more noise. So you have that uh, tower over there that for some reason has water running through it. Which is really, really loud. But there's also this bell here. So this bell is deafening. Ringing it, ringing it recklessly would also make your ears ring. So... There we go, so let's make the bell hurt and the monkey's inside the building right now, but I don't think I'll be able to do anything with him here. So let's ring the bell again. But he still hears me. Ah, and I got the purple one by accident, because he couldn't see me, he was in the center of the, the area. So he went over there somewhere, so if I now... I need to get him on top of there again, yeah. So if I now ring the bell, he's on top of there, you can see him. So if I ring the bell... He won't be... Ah, he's actually stunned as well, so let's just go up there and kill his ass. There we go. Folding screen monkeys down. Shinobi execution. Folding screen monkeys defeated. Please forgive them. Aw, they turned around. They only sought to keep me hidden. However, it seems it was not meant to be. Close your eyes. 
Let us meet at the inner sanctum. So that's back in the temple, I suppose. Okay. Where are we now? Well, probably the inner sanctum, but still. A bit weird. Memory, the Scream Monkeys. Uh, the folding screen monkeys guarded the Hall of Illusions and befriended the, the Divine Child of Rejuvenation. Puppeteer ninjutsu, ninjutsu technique that manipulates the victim like a puppet. This technique temporarily forces one who should have fled this realm to remain. A puppet moves on behalf of its master, but its strings are destined to snap. Ooh. That's one I want to equip. It only takes five spirit emblems, actually. That is cool. Now, what the fuck is this even? A beam of light to go back to the Hall of Illusions. But this is not in our world either, is it? It seems like another separate reality kind of thing. Uh, let's rest at this. Definitely rest. There we go. And that, oh no, wait, we can actually improve our attack power just because we killed the monkeys. So, enhance attack power with the screen monkeys. The halls of illusion lie on the threshold betwixt life and death. The parted souls of the divine children drift and sway, taking shelter in the monkeys of the temple. Such is why the divine child of rejuvenation speaks of them as friends. That was a cool boss fight, by the way. Such a, a, a great way of doing that. Um, and let's talk to this divine child. It's probably not Kuro. What was the other one called? Why do you seek this place? I seek the mortal blade. Do you know of the blade that cannot be drawn? Yes. It is so called, for not one who has drawn it has ever survived. Yet you still wish to attempt this. Um, I do. I do. I see. Very well. And there it is. If you are prepared, you may gaze upon the blade. G gaze upon Sekiro, gaze upon, not just take it in your hand. Oh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't. This is dangerous, isn't it? Oh. Well, we die, but we can resurrect. And Why is it, I wonder? Are they not loath to die? So drawing it from its sheet causes you to die. But we, of course, have the power of resurrection. How? How are you? Your you, eye. You better not count that as a death, by the I way. See. You carry the curse of the dragon's heritage. The mortal blade, without question. Okay. So do we actually get a sword upgrade now? The mortal blade, an Odachi capable of slaying the undying. Its crimson blade will take the life of any who dares draw it. Without the power of resurrection, one could not hope to wield this weapon which allows one to defeat even infested beings. Long concealed within Senpao Temple, the blade is inscribed with its true name. Gracious Gift of Tears. Okay. So, how do we switch between the two? Because I'm supposing that we can use that to kill the monks at Senpao Temple as well, those that just keep resurrecting. I see you serve the divine heir of the dragon's heritage. Yes. Why do you seek the mortal blade? I wish to obtain the dragon tears from the divine realm to sever the ties of immortality. I see. I have read about this. I have read there is a way to sever the dragon's heritage. Mm. Which means the divine heir begrudges the power of the dragon's heritage. That's right. How strange fate can be. 
I am one of the children of the rejuvenating waters, created by those who would stop at nothing to achieve immortality. My false dragon's blood was created by man. Children? So there are many of you. I am the only one who survived the process. The others are laid to rest here. I see. I do not know if it is right to sever the ties of immortality, but the dragon's heritage undeniably corrupts the lives of men, and I share the heir's feelings about that truth. Shinobi of the Divine Heir, I have decided to assist you. Please, hold out your hand. What? Bless us with bountiful harvest. Rice. Oh. Rice that spilled from the palms of the Child of Rejuvenation gradually recovers vitality for a time. Even in falsehood, the power of the dragon's blood brings a bountiful harvest. Rice is precious, the flavor grows richer with each bite and is sure to raise one's spirit. This is... rice? There you are. Rice is a precious thing. It tastes better the more you eat it, and restores one's vigor. So... The old lady asked about rice, which is interesting. Shinobi of the Divine Air, you are welcome here. Okay, thank you. Um, so we can request more rice if you want to. Give Holy Chapter Infested. Wait, what was that again? <laughs> There's so much going on around here. Um, the other horrifying thing that she just told us, people actually try to recreate, and I'm guessing it's Genichiro, Try to recreate the dragon's heritage blood, the dragon's blood, to become immortal, like Sekiro. But, I feel like they mostly failed, aside from with her. Um, but that means that they also killed a whole bunch of children just to get to her as a result. Um, just gonna... Farewell, Shinobi of just, the just gonna check what that was again. Okay, so we found that in Senpao Temple itself, the holy chapter infested. Don't know what that's gonna do if you give that to her. Shinobi of the Divine Air, you are. Okay, let's give that to her. This is for you. What is this? I was told to give this to you. Thank you. I will accept it. What's wrong? I, I still cannot help but detest them. Okay. Farewell, Shinobi of the Divine Air. May the harvest be plentiful wherever your path may lead. She is so sweet. I hope I didn't kill her while giving her that. Because I know from software games likes to flip the script to you. Um, what else is here? Are there actually enemies here or not? I'm actually getting my sword out if I get away from the building here. There's more items over here. And where does this lead? I'm so... Oh... Oh, this is that gate to the side, isn't it? This is that, that gate on the side that I couldn't open at the end of Senpo Temple. Isn't it? Oh no, it is literally, yeah, it is, it is that. Ooh, yeah. So we're back here with those two guys. Okay, but I do want to try that out now. So they were keeping her here. Oh no, of course, they were trying to recreate, they were doing research... The priests and the monks of Senpo Temple were doing research towards uh, immortality, so it makes sense that they try to recreate the dragon's blood. But now, can I actually kill one of these guys in one go? Ah, there we go. So now we can use the red blade to kill them off completely. Interesting. Interesting. So now we can permanently kill the undying, which is cool. Which is really, really cool. So that is... That is interesting. So this story is really, really unfolding. So we have multiple uh, teams going around. So we have the immortality surrounding the dragon's blood. And then we also have a separate sword of immortality based on the fountainhead waters. The part that Kenichiro uh, is investigating and Emma as well, probably. So I feel, now that we have the Mortal Blade on our back, that we're done with Senpao Temple for now. I don't know where that High Priest went. 
So I might want to take a quick look on the other side of the building, which is I think over here. So back at that tower, I just wanted to double check if the high priest is just hiding out over here or not. He doesn't appear to be hiding himself here, so... The only thing that we're missing in Sampo Temple is that the black hat badger said he was going over, uh, coming over here. While I'm uh, sliding on the backs of geckos. Um, so yeah, I don't know what that is all about. Oh, this, this seemed like a bad idea. Yeah, okay. Kind of forgot about that. Uh, so I'm gonna just try and use some of the Sculptor's Idols to see if I can't get back to where we uh, were sooner in Senpai Temple to see if we can't find Black Hat Patcher really quickly as well. By the way, this also sheds a light. So we're back at the first uh, Sculptor's Idol in Senpai Temple. This also sheds a light on this thing. So that was channeling the voice of that divine child of rejuvenation, which is interesting. Um, now, there's multiple things, multiple threats that remain unanswered. We still don't know where Black Hat Badger is. And I don't know if this is anything going on with this guy any further. Please, can you spirit me away? I'm sure that everyone will be wherever I disappear to. Wait. And then I'll get to see them. I'm in charge of looking after the children, after all. You can do that, right? I think I think I can. I can, with now that I have that uh, that fan prosthetic tool. All right. Oh, oh, thank you, thank you. I'm ready, but also a little frightened. But yes, do it. Uh, okay, so if I'm correct about this, the description is going to confirm this for me, but the divine abduction says it is said that one can only return from being spirited away once if taken again there is no coming back so let's equip that and do this are you are you spirited away did, did i spirit them away oh i need to do it twice okay give me a second so according to the description i need to release the gusts of wind that i'm carrying a divine Abduction! Okay. So where did he go to? Wait, all the children were taken away. All the children were taken away. This, this, wait a second, wait a second. I know, I know what we need to go. We just got a fancy explanation about what was happening. So they abducted children, experimented on them for their undead research, and only one of them survived, so... That means he should be logically at the inner sanctum but he doesn't seem to be in the inner sanctum itself but there is of course this fancy beam of light where we know that the monkeys were protecting the child the children that were sent there so let's try this okay so back here we can actually oh there he is there he is there he is hello no, no, that's not true. That guy, I know he looks a little shifty, but he's a good man. Kotaro? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's you. Well, I'm glad you made it. Look, everyone, Mr. Shinobi is here too. Ah, oh, children, greet him properly. <sighs> hmm? All oh, right. Uh, you can't see them, can you? The rejuvenated children? Yes, you can't see them, but they're there. They're adorable kids. Right then, I must give you my thanks. Take this. A taro persimmon. A conspicuously red persimmon at the peak of its ripeness, commonly called a taro persimmon. Greatly increases posture recovery for a time, even when attacking or taking damage. The Ashini, Ashina taro troop are practically raised on these fruits, which is why they all know the best time to pick them. Thank you so, so much. So these giants are actually part of the Taro clan. <laughs> what is it? The kids are saying thank you too. But they're so adorable. Okay. So... <laughs> Takuro? What is it? The kids are saying thank you too. It was nice they're knowing so you, buddy. Adorable. It was nice knowing you. And I'm glad we could help, because I feel like this is the end of his quest line. Um, this monk also has moved. Why have you returned? 
Kotaro and I Kotaro, both sorry. wish to remain here free from distraction. I ask that you leave quietly. What is wrong with his skin? Seems like he did some experimenting on himself as well. Why have Kotaro? Okay, Kotaro and I both want to be quiet here. Okay, feel like we finished up that quest line. So with that done, I'd like to take a little break. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this lore heavy, but with another boss fight uh, episode. And uh, I'd like to see you guys in the next episode where we're going to go back to the gun fort, I think, because we found a key that we can use as well. Now that we have the mortal blade, we have the stone, all we need is that fancy flower that might be in the sunken valley. So see you guys in that next episode. Goodbye.